So today's video is about a Nikon J1 I had that uh, wouldn't power up at all and showed no signs of life. I'd seen a, a blog posting about a similar uh, problem with a J1 and uh, the person said that they returned it to Nikon and they replaced a, they said a power switch, but I thought it might be the power board. So that's what I went after. Uh, first things first, got to remove the battery. And of course, there are lots of screws involved, so keep track of all of them, keep them organized. So there are two screws on the right side of the camera, these two, there are two more on the left, and then on the bottom, there are these three. Now I should have taken a video of this, but um, the back here just uh, wiggles off, and then the top also just wiggles off at this point. Um, so unfortunately, I didn't have video of that. So when I went through this, I removed these side screws so that the front cover would come off. I don't think you need to remove the front cover. Um, I think the top will come off without that. So here it is with the uh, rear and the top cover removed. I just flipped over. It's a little bit of a trick to get that top cover around the flash unit, but it just takes some, some fiddling. Okay, here on top is the power board. So this is the thing we've got to remove and replace. And here's the replacement board, thanks to eBay. Okay, to remove the power board, there are three screws on top. Right here, here, and then there was uh, one on the left side here. i show them close up right here. And then the one that uh, got me was this one inside the battery compartment. Okay, now we got to remove the connectors. This one's a power connector on top. I'll show you how to remove that when, with the one on the bottom here in a second. And then the big ribbon cable. So as I flip over the board here, then you see uh, there's another one of those power connectors. They operate the same. They need to be just popped up. Don't pull out. Just uh, This is probably not the best way to do it, but anyway, just pop it up. And then that ribbon cable needs to be removed in a special way. That little black clamp needs to be flicked out. So you f just flick it out with your fingernail, as you can see right here. And the ribbon cable just falls right out. Okay, here I've got the new board in place. Just pressed that power connector in on the bottom. I've already got the uh, new ribbon cable pressed in. And then here I'm pressing in the uh, top white power connector here. Just press it down and it clamps. And those are the, those are the connections. And now I uh, just need to fit the board into place and put the, the uh, four screws, the three on top and that one in the battery compartment. Don't forget that one. Okay, well, that was all the heavy lifting, so now it's just the reverse. Put all the screws back and get everything remounted. Uh, it takes some fiddling, but it doesn't take long. And then, power it up. So it worked for me. I hope it works for you too.